Hi, it's Shannon from MilkandCuddles.com and today I'm making a couple chickens, whole chickens, in a slow cooker. Um, the first thing you want to do when you're doing this is make sure that the chicken that you get will actually fit inside your slow cooker. My slow cookers fit about a four to five pound chicken and so you want to make sure that it fits before you get it out. Then you're going to want to spray the inside of your crock pot with some non-stick spray. I'm using a lemon flavored one here but you can use whatever you like. Next, you're gonna put whatever vegetables you'd like inside to kind of give the chicken some nice flavoring. I like to put onions and carrots and celery. Um, you may like some of those or none of those, it's up to you. And then after I've gotten the chickens out of a package, I rinse them really well, I take any giblets out of the center, and then I've put on the skin poultry seasoning, salt, pepper, and paprika, as, long, um, as well as some rosemary and sage. And a half a lemon I stick in the inside of the carcass. And you'll see it's easier to put that stuff in if you kind of put the chicken up in the beginning. It will hold it for you. Um, and then the lemon I really recommend because it permeates the whole chicken as it cooks. It's really yummy. That's about halfway done with cooking. And you'll see that even though I haven't added any liquid to the chicken, it makes its own liquid. Um, then afterward, I'll take one of the chickens and just debone it, get the onions out, get the chicken out, and put that in a package to freeze. Um, some of the liquid I will make into gravy. And then the carcass I put back into the slow cooker and fill it up with water, put it on low overnight. And then you'll see that uh, later I use that to freeze chicken broth. The other chicken, I'll just eat that night. Um, I'll take the skin off of it and just serve the chicken plain to my family. But you can see that the broth actually freezes really well and that can be added to meals in the future. So if you're doing one chicken, I highly recommend if you have two uh, crock pots that you do two at the same time. It's just super easy and I hope that helps.